Thank you. How was day one? Uh, solid. Uh, we have another session now in one hour. And uh, yeah, it's uh, great energy as always on the first day. Uh, going through some of the things um, uh, we're going to keep working on. And, and, and we want to get that to a good level. And yeah, so far good. Looking forward to the second session today. What feels good? What feels great. I'm very happy with the progress. And uh, yeah, looking forward to finishing this week strong and, uh, and having everything go according to plan. Uh, you know, it's one thing when you come to a new team, you meet your teammates and you have your workouts. Now that you're going through some practices, what have you learned about these guys? Um, good question. I don't know. I think it's, you know, most of the guys I've seen many years in the league already play and what they're capable of. And, uh, I think it's just an interesting part is to see the dynamic, you know, adding some players and or, or playing with some new players and how quickly we're going to be able to play off of each other, read each other, read each other's minds so we can just be, you know, like seamless. Um, so we look forward to that. You know, it's still the first day and and, uh, and the more time on the floor we get together, the, the better we'll look and the, the more rhythm we'll have. How long did that take for you when you went to Dallas, when you went to Washington, getting used to new teammates and just fitting in like that? Yeah, I would say Dallas took me a little bit longer. Um, Washington was very smooth. Um, I think also it's important to have a good summer. And uh, before Washington, um, before last season, I was with the national team, so that kind of helped me to, to be in a good rhythm, to be in that uh, playing mindset. Um, this year, I had to miss the national team, but to be ready for this, you know, to stay healthy, not to stay so healthy, to, to, to be uh, ready uh, for this season. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and I look forward to just getting in that, in that rhythm, in that uh, playing shape. And I think it's gonna be it's gonna be easy. The more experience you have, also the easier it gets with each year. I would say. You talked a little bit about playing center yesterday. Is that kind of how what you're focusing on now in training camp defensively with the coverages and all that? Yeah, everything. Yeah, well, you know how to. You need to know how to play every position defensively. Almost, you know, there's gonna be switches. There's gonna be mismatches. And uh, and yeah, I have to be able to be put in any situation and and be able to. Uh, understand what we need to do, and uh, and offensively, yeah, I mean, we we'll, we'll figure it out with the personnel we have. What's the most effective way for us to to play? You coming off your best season, posting up, it's probably going to be something that these guys want you to do mm -hmm. a little bit more often. Mm -hmm. What went into? You know, why was it your best season, and, and mm -hmm. what can you carry into you know, moving forward? Um, I looked at uh, when I was in Dallas. I looked at my numbers, my my my, my post ups. The situations I was in, and, and kind of analyzed, and I had like a, a reality check, you know, and, and and realized that I need to I need to get better. I need to get better to be able to use that part of my game at a at, at a good level, and uh, and that's what I did. I looked at the things I was not as efficient, looked at things where I was more efficient, and then just constantly kept working on it and and developed, you know, that that post game. And last season was a good example of, you know, doing the things I, I needed to do. And then, you know, as the year went on, I think I got more and more affected. So I look forward to, you know, replicating that here also and being able to open things up for my teammates playing in the post. Have you seeked out any advice from maybe some older generation guys who are more familiar with post play? Or is it just something that you and your, your film study... Oh, we looked, of course, I look a lot of film on all kinds of players, but... Uh, uh, and many players I took inspiration from, um, but everybody's different. Everybody's body's different. Everybody feels uh, more comfortable or less comfortable with certain moves. And I just, you know, with experience, with years in the league, I developed uh, one, two, three things that I just keep doing over and over again, and they just keep working. So, uh, yeah, I, I look forward to, you know, keep improving on those things and, and possibly adding more counters and more things. The expectations here are just so high. You internally, do you have a little bit more patience and maybe getting comfortable or, or blending into a new place? Uh, more patience? No, I, I would say no. I, I, I like to, of course, you have to have patience and we're going to need a little bit of time just to everybody just be on the same page every practice, every game. But, uh, 
but uh, I'm impatient in that sense. I want you know things to be working right away and, and, and be very self-critical with myself and how I can do things better and do what the coaches want me to do and little things that I can get better at. So. Uh, very uh, critical and impatient myself, but patient with the with the process. Christophe, how steep is the learning curve going from different systems to every season, and how long does it kind of take to get acclimated and, and learn the language? Yeah, of course, every every place is different. Every city you have to get used to. Um, there's a little bit of that uh, like getting comfortable time, but uh, but I would say yeah, I, I I'm pretty good at. I uh, transitioning from one place to another and then now this is my fourth team and of course as I said yesterday I would like to stay here for a long long time but uh, we have to uh, we have to be in the moment and and, uh, and get the most out of today tomorrow and then go day by day and and uh, and so far yeah the transition has been a smooth process I guess it's, it's been building for a while but what is your hunger your excitement to mm-hmm. Play for presumably the, the best contender you've ever got. Very motivating, uh, very exciting, of course, and also a uh, big responsibility. Uh, we all understand what our goal is, and but we don't want to only have that in our minds. You know, as, as coach said yesterday in the first meeting, uh, we have to live that lifestyle. We have to live that life day to day. You know, we have to put in the work and then. At the end, if we put in the work, we'll, we'll achieve the results. But, uh, but it has to be like a daily focus, not always keeping only that big goal in our minds. So we're, we're keeping that in mind. Cool.